And when people like me get to those classrooms, there's a choice to make, a lot like the man who went into the wild, you know? You gotta loosen your belt, check your locks, pack enough ammo, carry a knife, and own a rope and a noose to be prepared for survival now. I wrote my first precy with my beloved professor Kave Ascari about Karl Marx in the Communist Manifesto he wrote, the document he wrote about capitalism. I got the best grade I ever got during the degree I received from the university I attended in the early 2000s. I got excited, I got a big reward. <laughs> and I took every class the man had on his calendar and schedule. I studied independently with him. I went to Seattle with him to film festivals, to a film festival and requested him write me a letter to Telluride, Colorado, and sat with Werner Herzog and saw famous celebrities like Nicolas Cage in the park with his baby and wife back then, now. I received stories. I received ideas and I received theories from this study called English Literature in the Social Sciences. And what remains has to do with the fundamentals of the takeover everyone says makes sense now. And what's scary doesn't have to do with the conditions, the fear has to do with their power. My professor Kave Iskari, he, he made no excuses. and spoke about Karl Marx and how miserable he was his whole life. Much like a math researcher who can't solve the numbers in the image and get confused disoriented and become schizophrenic like Dr. Nash who went to MIT. The process I'm explaining requires so much energy along with time to complete. Nobody fighting this war and this civil hostility now 
will ever get the stimulation they're declaring in their independence. But their behavior and their rules and restrictions on the explanation and description give them now. And now has not a distraction or somebody who's listening to the voice and the sound from my mouth now. Other than what gets heard and seen from the eyes and the ears and felt with the body and the hands. What makes goosebumps on the arm feel like pricks from pins and needles and interrogation techniques from the bad guys and the rioters and the hysterical and deliberate anarchy and chaos. and fighting and blood, death of children, babies and strollers, fathers walking the stroller, men with their children in a crosswalk, a child in the back seat of a vehicle car. Identifying a problem doesn't make someone brilliant and intelligent. Getting a whole group to join the cause doesn't improve accuracy. These two parts together form an atomic device. They are the fuel for the rocket. They are the gunpowder for the shell. They're the man's foot hitting the door with the energy flowing in the body of the captain, the commander and the colonel who drinks at the bar with the fellow who knows all about everywhere now. I never saw an American flag much in Bellingham, Washington, when I was in school. 
Most professors wore a vest, a shirt with a collar, no tie, and never talked about military, never mentioned employment with the government. Their valid Victorians went off to make solar energy panels and fled to Canada to study more philosophy at their colleges and their campuses. And for a person who chooses to go to a United States Navy recruiter, they're forced to live on earth alone, afraid, scared, and fearful. Those teachers and those professors and their willing participants in their program of philosophy and ideology and psychology and psychiatry and medicine will arrive at my doorstep in the last place left anywhere on the planet to inhabit now without so much energy and so many minutes taken away with no consumption. The only other choice to make would be suicide. Hanging from the wall and falling from a tree. to not be taken to their institution, jail, prison, their office a few miles away to meet with their counselor. And get the medicine from their psychiatrist. and be interrogated by their department they want to eliminate and then removed physically by the military they yell and scream to take away now. I heard this man earlier say in the old days, pirates, the man was on an island, surviving for a show on TV. He said, pirates in the old days, they take people here now <laughs> on this speck of dust and say, there's your freedom. Leave and let them die. Let time slowly deplete the castaway's energy and not return with a ship full of containers and supplies to replenish their home. And to be clear, on Seattle in Capitol Hill in Washington State, Seattle, Washington, The only materials, the only choices to not stop breathing are given 
by the humans who provide the services 